Steve Young for the Co Roundtable. A year ago, in August 2019, the U.S. A business Roundtable, no relation to us, which is a, a networking group of about 200 of the largest American corporations, came out with a statement which reframed the mission and purpose of, of a corporation. And for quite a while, um, a number of years, um, it was generally accepted, it was advocated by a lot of people, including a famous professor, Milton Friedman, and stock market people and many others, that the sole purpose of a corporation was to make money for its owners, for the shareholders. And in pursuing that objective, it would be, it would be rational, it would be efficient, it would make wise decisions, which would produce automatically a good for society. Uh, often allied with the famous quote from Adam Smith about an, an invisible hand, that there's something about markets and transactions among people that even if I intend only my own good in selling you tomatoes uh, for a particular price, I'm actually gonna be participating in a large complex system which is going to create a whole lot of tomatoes grown by farmers, lowering the price to help a whole bunch of poor people, let's say. So even though I'm seeking my own individual good, I'm ending up contributing conditions which help a lot of people get good tomatoes for a cheaper price. Uh, well, what if selfishness is not always so uh, altruistic in its unintended effects? So the U.S. Business Roundtable last year said that companies, rather than just focus on the earnings for their shareholders, they should look at how they treat different stakeholders, the customers, the employees, the owners, the, the creditors, the suppliers, the environment, and the community. And that theory is a more sophisticated theory. It's the theory of the co-roundtable that if you take care of all your stakeholders, you will serve them well and they will re reward you in various ways, which will lead to a steady, reliable profit for your owners. So the best way to serve your owners is actually to be indirect, to go through your stakeholders to get back to your owners. So the, the president of the U.S. Business Roundtable just came out with a statement the other day defending their statement of one year ago. And because a lot of the old school, the Milton Friedman shareholders above everybody school, was, was um, discomfited by this. They opposed it. Editorials in the Wall Street Journal and elsewhere. But Joshua Bolton said, one group of our critics are unlikely to be comforted. Investors whose business model depends on quick spikes in share value. People who are not investing in the company itself for the long run, they're buying and, sh and selling shares of stock. And the money that they pay for a share of stock doesn't go to the company, it goes to whoever happened to own the stock before them. And they're just gambling or betting or wanting the share price to go up. So they wanna pressure the company to have short-term profit so other investors will say, oh, I can get higher returns with this company, I'll buy its stock, price goes up, I then sell. I don't really care about the company or its, its stakeholders. So Bolton says, these short-term shareholders are a malignant influence on American business. That's strong language. For example, by pressuring companies to forego investments in plant, equipment, research, and workforce to meet quarterly financial targets. In other words, take the cash you get, don't invest in future growth in jobs and incomes for the company and for the society, but just pull it out and spend it somewhere else. Short-term shareholder capitalism also has a malignant influence on our politics, undermining public confidence in the free market system and fueling support for politicians who oppose it. If workers are told that their interests are irrelevant, and they're employed solely to boost short-term share prices, why would they support capitalism? So we at the Co Roundtable, actually it was back in 1994, were thinking about this, this stakeholder approach to running the economic side of, of any just society. 